Hello, lifelong lovers of learning. This is Robbie Grimes once again with my Big Campus Mastery Series. In this session, we're going to learn about the activity page, which is the first page that comes up when you log into my Big Campus. Now, the activity page generally shows all of the activity that happens in the groups or in the notifications that you have throughout your my Big Campus account. Let's take a look at the page. You'll notice in the center column of your page, you have a listing of all kinds of information like this first one right here. This is a posting by Mrs. Lennon to a group that I'm a part of, specifically to a discussion called Anyone Tried a Gradebook Export Yet? This is a function that some of the people in my big campus are asking about and the developers are working on. As you scroll down right here, you can see that Doris Robert posted on Laptop Security Agent, Linda Carter added a discussion to an all IT group that I'm a part of, this is essentially a listing of all of the activity that happens within my Big Campus account. Some of it happens to be postings to discussions that are going on. Someone makes an announcement to a group. When you give an assignment to your students, that assignment will show up here. At the top of the page, right underneath the title, you'll notice that there's post to your wall and post to your blog. Posting to your wall is essentially putting something right here on the activity page, but also it's going to show up on your wall so that when people are looking at your page or your wall they'll see items that you've added. For instance, I can click right here and type creating a new video for the My Big Campus training and it'll discuss the activity section and then I can post it. If you click on profile you'll be taken directly to your wall. Now your wall is a place where you can post things that you're working on and that you're doing uh, throughout your day, but also other people can post on your wall as well. If I scroll down, you'll notice that Tara Reinhardt has posted and so has Mr. Davidson. Now your wall is different than your activity page in that your wall only has items that you have directly posted to it or that other persons have directly posted to it. In the activity section, that section has items that are discussions that are going on in groups or announcements that are going on in groups or when someone posts to a discussion or adds a discussion to a particular group those things will show up there. So a little bit different than the activity page uh, as compared to the wall. Going back to the activity page the other tab that's at the top is the post to your blog. Every person that has an account in my big campus has a blog on my blog I could post something like liquid keyboard something I learned about earlier and down here in the post I could say this new keyboard may transform the iPad in how we type I can go back here and grab a link for this website paste it down here I'll put a couple tags here so that it can be searchable. I'll go ahead and let people comment on this and I'll click post. Now my post has been added to my blog. If I want to see my blog I can go back to profile and click on blog at the top. And here is my posting. Back on my activity page if I have a new photo that I want to upload to my account I can just click new photo. Click here to upload the photos scroll down here, find my photo of my liquid keyboard, and click close. Up at the top I'll just type in could transform the iPad, I'll click post. Now you see that my picture has been added to my wall right at the top of the activity page. You can also add other items like new files, a quick link which is like a bookmark, library items, and items from your stuff. Each of these items will be discussed further in other sections of the My Big Campus Mastery Series. So that's it. That's how your activity page works within My Big Campus. If you have any questions, please let us know. And once again, this is Robbie Grimes with My Big Campus Mastery Series.